12 essential elements of the gospel, breakthrough Christian teaching. We thank God for restoring this vital knowledge, and we owe a debt of thanks to Apostle Eric von Andersen for his obedience to bring this teaching to the church. What are the elements of the gospel? Think of the elements of the gospel as God's DNA. What is that, you might ask? Well, we know what human DNA is. DNA is the pattern of life. DNA is the genetic instructions used to determine your eye color, hair color, height, the size of your nose, skin color, etc. A simple way to explain genetics is to demonstrate it. We can understand that children resemble their parents. When you compare a picture of yourself to that of your parents, what likenesses do you see? Maybe you share your mother's eye color or your father's broad forehead. Maybe you share the same shape of face or mouth. Perhaps your ears have lobes. Why do you look like your parents? Naturally speaking, DNA is the pattern that is passed on from parent to offspring that makes the offspring look like the parent. The purpose of this reflection is to teach about inheritance. As you recognize similar characteristics between you and your parents, begin to think about how God planned to accomplish this spiritually. God planned to return the soul to the likeness of Christ. How many times have you found yourself in prayer saying, I want to be just like Jesus? God's plan is to make a way for him to create in you the likeness of Christ. Faith is the likeness of Christ. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The 12 elements of the gospel are God's genetic code God gave us 12 elements to show us Jesus. The pattern of knowledge is the pattern of life in Christ. The 12 elements of the gospel are grace, faith, righteousness, justification, sanctification, holiness, peace, rest, charity, truth, regeneration, and the renewing of the mind. God is teaching us how we share the likeness of Christ through knowledge. The 12 elements are instructions for faith we are to follow to express this image of Christ. Grace is the image of Christ. Faith is the image of Christ. Righteousness is the image of Christ. And so on. The 12 elements are the blueprint of life in Christ. Life takes place in the womb of the covenant. The new covenant is the second covenant. By drawing these connections, you should start to see that just as physical DNA plays an important part in shaping your physical characteristics, so also does God's knowledge his DNA play a vital role in shaping Christ in you. And just as the pattern needs to be there first before a resemblance can take place, it is the same with God's kingdom. A pattern of knowledge needs to be set in place first before you can take on the divine nature of Christ. DNA is a way for you to identify yourself, how you function, how your heart beats, how hearing works, how sight works, how things work. DNA is a solid foundation 
for your body to function. God's DNA is a way for you to identify Christ, how you function in Him, how grace works, how faith works, how holiness works, how charity works, how things work. God's DNA is a solid foundation for your faith to function in Christ. The true foundation of the New Covenant is Jesus Christ.